Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I am your host, Paige Jen. Woohoo! Installment. Did you like that? <laughs> I just threw that in. It sounded good and yeah. it sounded professional. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're professional podcasters now. We are. So we need to start using professional lingo. Mm-hmm. I said words. lingo. We need to use way bigger words. Yeah, and I'm working on it, and I'm doing good. Me too, but then I forget the word. I'm always like, gosh. I try to learn a new word every day. Really? But then I forget the word mm. by the end of the day. Then you didn't learn it, honeys. I hey, know. honeys, not learning here. Hey, honeys, just doing it and wasting my time because I can't remember, <laughs> remember the word here. Hey, guys, thanks for li- thanks for uh, hopping on and listening to our podcast. Um, I'm just going to go straight into it. Something Something happened to me on the road, and I've been dying to tell you, but I wanted to tell you on the podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> It's, it's not even that big of a deal, but okay, straight up, dude. So I, y'all know I've started doing stand up. I've been off and on the road like crazy. Um, yeah. So uh, had a meet and greet. This lady walks through, okay, and uh, we're taking a picture, and she just starts rubbing my clit. Oh my! <laughs> well, hold on. Let me let me give a little bit of uh. Okay, so I'm wearing like uh like gym shorts, not my Tammy shorts, but like oh, just good thing, just like cloth. You know, just yeah. they weren't hard jeans. They were like you know, like want like Target shorts. And she comes through, and listen, people come through the meet and greets all the time, and they grab my boobs. They're like, hey, can we take a picture? Where I'm grabbing. Sometimes they ask. Sometimes they don't. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I'm not like. You know, and I'm all about consent and shit, but my fans really know that, like, if you want to grab my boobs, you can f- fucking grab them. Yeah. You know, you don't got to, you know. But this is the clip. Well, she comes through. <laughs> and listen, if she's listening, I love you, honey. So I'm not, I'm not mad. I just, it took me by surprise. Okay. <laughs> it's not every day somebody comes up and grabs your clip. So she was probably in her 40s. And... And she was with her and her husband. And mm-hmm. listen, people come through all the time, and they're drunk, and they're crazy, and they're like, well, she Horny. was completely sober and normal and everything. She comes through, and she's like, oh, I, you know, we had a great time. The show was great. And I'm like, thank you. And we go to take a picture. And so I'm in the middle. Her husband's on this side. She's on this side. And so I have both hands around them, okay? And right when they're about to take the picture, she's like, oh, she was like, I just love you. And she literally just reaches down. And doesn't, like, kind of graze the twat. You know, if she kind of, like, kind of went like this or whatever. Mm-hmm. She gets up in there and is, like. In the lips? Yes. And it's, like, and I got some thick, deep lips. And she's pussy one. patting you. Pussy rubbing on the clip. And to the point where, kind of, like, at the first second or two, I was, like, oh, you know, kind of, like, I was, mm-hmm. like, oh, thinking that maybe she'd stop. She kept going. And I was, like, I go, honey, huh? you good? Honey, I'm getting wet. <laughs> It just, like, I could not wait to tell you. But I was like, no, I'm going to tell her on the podcast. It just, that was a first. Wait, so you said, are you good? Yeah, I was like, honey's you good? Because like, the, the guy from the club was sitting there taking a picture, and she's, like, just rubbing my clip. So there's probably a picture out there. I, she never, I, I never got tagged in it or anything. But she's, like, ru- like rubbing my clip. And I couldn't, like, my hands were oc- occupied on them. And mm-hmm. I was just like, you know, a second or two, I'm like, okay. But she kept going, and I was like, honey's you good? I kind of put my legs, I kind of, you know. That is so Fucking funny. So I got my clit rubbed at By a Trailer a Trash Tammy show. Oh, my. Good thing you weren't wearing those blue shorts, dude. Oh, she would have. She would have she, had, she had to go like wash this, her hands. She would have been gagging. She would <laughs> never come back to a show. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. I can't believe that happened. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like, I know a lot of people are going to, you know, watch this. And be like, I would have been so. And I get that if you, sure. I feel like. We put that out there. Right. My personality is a little different. My, you know, I'm very, like, open. And like I said, people come up and just grab my boobs. I don't care, you know. So, yeah. and I'm not mad at her. She she, she probably thought that, you know, was okay. And it kind of was. It just took me off guard. And it kind of was. Well, if she would have been like, can I rub your clit? Honestly, I'd have been like, all right. <laughs> you know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we need the her as a sound like, bite. I, I don't think I would have said no. Well, there's a, uh, like, a picture, right? On Beth's 
merch stand. It says, like, grab my tits. Or Oh, yeah. With any purchase, Beth will let you grab her titties. So that's the kind of, you know, that's the kind of people we are. Like, so I wasn't, you know. But yeah. people always grab my tits, and the clit was new for me. I was like, oh. And I hadn't had it rubbed in a minute. I just want to say that. Yeah. So I kind of was like, you know. I want to put that out there so maybe more people will. So if you want to come to the meet and greet, just know I'm cool with it. <laughs> just not in the blue shorts, honey. Oh, honeys don't do the blue shorts, honey. Oh, gosh. Did you have any other stories? No. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I just love that you waited to share that with me on the podcast and not tell me. I know, honeys. It's fucking funny. I know, honeys. Um, what's up with you? You know, I'm just sitting here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I made Brett laugh. No, I'm just, you know, doing doing podcast stuff, yeah. doing yep. stuff we can't share. Uh, oh, God, the oh second my... we can share it, I'm going to, I'm not even going to talk about it because people are going to get mad. They're like, why are you bringing it up if you can't what share it? What is it? Paige and I got something going on. We've been really busy and yeah. we can't share it. And I hate when people write me and they're like, get a fucking job. Oh. I'm like, if you guys could see what we're doing oh. behind the scenes, then you would shut the fuck up. Exactly. Big time. Don't even pay pay attention to those people. That, that pisses me off. But exactly. Well, and I do want to say there's so much, and we can get into this later, but there's so much behind the scenes of what we do that people don't, you know, people don't, and they see us like just chilling chilling and having fun on our Instagram mm-hmm. stories. So that, that's what they think we do all day. And it's like, huh, no, ma'am. Because that's when we have the time to post. Right, right. Is when we're doing the fun things. But exactly. No, it's not always fun. Oh. Well, I woke up this morning. Somebody was rubbing my clit. Someone was rubbing. <laughs> it was Brett. <laughs> oh, I could see that. I, I could too. God, I'm just waiting on the day he does it. What a perv. Um, no, I um realized that Winona Judd unfollowed me on Instagram. Why do you think? First off, do you know who that is? Yes, she actually came to the fair. And do Shane. You were telling me about that. Okay, that's mm-hmm. right. And listen, if if you're out there and you don't know who Winona Judd is, Look right? Do you know who Winona Judd is? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you know what she sings? Sorry. No yeah. one else on earth do do could ever hurt me, break my heart the way you do. Now you know who I'm talking about. I know, like Ashley Judd. Okay, be quiet, Brett. Okay, Brett, go to bed. Start winding <laughs> Brett, down. Brett, it's time for bed. Start winding down, buddy. <laughs> um, we'll be out there to tuck you in, honey. So she started following me, like, not a, maybe a year ago. And I, listen, I've got a lot of celebrities that follow me. I do. Okay. And I've got, got a, a few. lot of blue check marks following a me. A lot. Okay. When she followed me, I, oh my gosh, about died. And right after she followed me, so I don't, I don't message celebrities. Just yeah. want to throw that out there. I, yeah. I don't like very rare. If I ever have communication with a celebrity or whatever, like it's them reaching out to me. Mm-hmm. I just feel like, I feel like they're going to be like, who the hell is this message? You know, I just don't. Yeah. It's just reaching too much. So I never, I've never, I've actually never even said this, but she DM'd me like a year ago and she was like, Hey, are you, are you going to be in Nashville anytime soon? Are you coming to uh CMT fan fest? And I was like, I wrote back and I go, I can be. <laughs> you got an extra ticket? I go, I'll be there. And she never wrote back. And I thought, that's weird. And then right after that, the pandemic hit. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And I noticed today that she unfollowed me. And it's just like, you know, I have a lot of people that follow me. But when she, that's, I mean, she's one on a Judd did. But that's what gets me. It's like, what did I do? What yeah. was the post that did it? I think we should reach out. No, Since she already followed you and unfollowed you, I think we should reach out and say, hey, what was it? <laughs> can you imagine should she's go, like, huh? can you imagine she's like, well, it was the um, video you put, and I'm like, oh shit. It was the blue fart. It was the blue fart video. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll block Paige, I promise. Just give me that follow back. <laughs> I'll get Paige out of my life. Please follow. No, I'm not mad. I think it's funny. And honestly, I'm just happy that she knows I exist. Yeah. Are you yeah. going to unfollow her, though? No. You okay. know who else unfollowed me? Oh, no. You may not even know who this is. Tracy Lawrence. Oh, yeah. you Didn't you say he wrote you, too? He mess, He follows me. He followed me on TikTok. 
Not Tracy Lawrence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He still follows me. Clay Walker. You know who Clay Walker is? Love Clay Walker. I know Clay Aiken. No, honey. It's not him. Oh, okay. Wrong guy. Wrong dude. Um, But I've been to like five Clay Walker con. I love him to death. He followed me on uh, TikTok. He would comment. What does he sing? Oh, God. He sings so many. Um, If she's lonely now, she won't be lonely long. Heaven, hell. You know what I'm talking about? Hell yeah. He sings, um, oh God, so many songs. You know who Clay Walker is. I assure you. Um, I'm trying to think of his early stuff. Hypnotize the moon. Nope. Not yeah. ringing, dude. Anyway. Maybe if I heard it. He's a very big country. Like he's huge. Clay Walker is huge. So he followed me for the longest time and he would interact and comment stuff. Mm-hmm. And I got on there the other day and. Uh, and he dipped. He bounced. <laughs> He bounced. So, <laughs> why is everyone on follow? How do you know? It might not even be them because you know they probably have someone helping. And that's but, what I've thought too. Yeah. Honestly, I thought that like they've you know people like that they've got like people managing. They have a yeah. staff managing. And who's to know like if they saw something you know because I post some crazy shit you know who's to know if if their team gets on there and they saw like my tits yeah. and they're like. This can't. This is not good for the brand. Yeah, unfollow. I get it. I'm not. You know. Yeah. I'm not upset or anything. That's probably why. Yeah. I was. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. That's probably. Why. I never notice when people unfollow me. I don't. Eat, I don't check. But when it comes to like '90s country singers, I check. <laughs> why not, Judd? Do you go and look like every day? No, I haven't. No, I just looked randomly. Isn't that weird? Kind of mad. At her. Don't be mad, honeys. We don't need fans reaching out and angry at one another. Hey, Paige she's Jen really... is mad at you for unfollowing Chelsea. And they'll I do can, it, too. Yeah. They'll do it. I know. So if you're listening to this, please do not. Please leave Winona Judd alone. Please leave her alone. It was her staff. It wasn't her. And leave Clay Walker alone, please. Yeah, leave Clay Walker alone. Oh, my gosh. Well, I still love you, and I will follow you until thank the you. end of time. Honeys, thank you. Mm-hmm. That's really... <gasps> You know it's what it's time for? Trivia time. Trivia. Get trivial. Get trivia. Get trivial. Woo. Get trivia. Get trivial. Oh. I have that song stuck in my head daily. This is my f- this is my favorite part of the podcast, dude. Mine too. Just okay. finding out how dumb we are. Yeah. What's up, Brett? <laughs> are you guys ready? For the first Dude. question of trivial, Dude, I, I kind of get nervous on this. Okay. Do you? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay, I'm ready. We're smart. Here we go. What year was the very first model of the iPhone released? 2007. Whoa. Is that right? <laughs> Good job, honeys. You know how I know that? Do you know, like, certain points in your life, like, and I didn't have an iPhone for a long, it was, I had, First iPhone I got was like the iPhone 8 or something. I don't know. Um, I was watching The View, and what's her name? Whoopi Goldberg was talking about, did the iPhone came out? The iPhone came out? And I was living in, a, me and Gray had just got married. Well, no, we weren't, weren't married yet, but we were living in, uh, I was living with my grandma. So that was around 2007. I'm smart. Wow. And I, I, and I just knew that. I do not remember, like, times in my life, like the year. Really, you I'm know, good I at remember that. certain things, but Brett can be like, "Yeah, back in 1989," or I'm like, "How the <laughs> fuck do you know this stuff?" I used to think that too. And the older you get, the the more the years will start to I'm start telling to you. Yep. coagulate. Yep. Nice. All right. Question two. Yep. What animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? Horse. Of Stallion. Course. Stallion. Yeah. I thought that was too easy. Good yeah. job, honeys. Thank How you. many cards? Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Megan the Stallion. <laughs> Brett, you have to say, are you ready for question three? You can't just start a question without saying that. I just thought it was too easy, maybe. That's it don't, it I don't matter. Be... I got it. Okay. All right, here we go. It don't matter. I got it. How many cards are there in a deck of Uno? 50. Oh. Uno. A hundred. Uh, I'm just going to say 50. 108. I was going to say 110. Oh, wow. 
Well, I got closest, so I get that. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> this might be question four if you're ready. We're ready for question okay. four. Where did yoga originate? Uh, Sweden. I would have to say Germany and in India. Really? So it's India? Mm-hmm. How do you know that, honeys? Because one of my friends went to India to study yoga. So I just said India. Whoa. <laughs> kind of India. I didn't know. I just, That's what I just said. Wow. I would have known that if she never right. told me. Okay. Cool. Probably would have said like freaking. Amsterdam. Yeah. You know, or, that's Tex- what I or Texas. Texas. Nebraska. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> What is the biggest... All right, all right. Oh, you guys oh. ready for question number five? Come on, Brett's still in learning. <laughs> what? I, you know what? I actually lost track. I didn't know if we are on five or four. That's six. why you need to pay attention, Brett. Okay. Question number five. What is the biggest artery in the human body? The heart? Heart's not an artery. Um, I know this, but hold on. Let the, me think. Be more Pacific. The heart. <laughs> hold on. She's the, like the heartery. <laughs> um, the jugular the harder <laughs> I don't know Look, dude I knew this but I f- I can't remember starts with an A A order <laughs> thanks honeys you're welcome good job you're thanks. doing really good hey, I feel really smart today you look smart thank you with that high pony well and I'm wearing a Dr. Philip McGraw shirt so he He's really here with me, you know. And what does it say? Send them. What does your? He's the smartest. Say? Send them to the ranch. ranch. Send them to the ranch, brother. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Question six. You guys ready? Okay. <laughs> what <laughs> element has the chemical symbol CA? Calcium. Calcium. Can we get no more table of continents? Huh? Continents. What is it? Table of. The periodic. I don't want no more periodic table questions. Okay. From now on. Okay. Please. I believe Come this on. will be question number seven then. Do you guys know what a plie is in yes. ballet? Yes. A what? Plie. Yeah. Plie. No. It's a turn. Okay. Demonstrate it. Do a plie. Okay. Well, I can't. Come on. Next. Okay. Well, How am I going to uh, demonstrate yeah, bending that? Bending at the knees. I can come do it if you want. No, honeys. Right. People are listening on uh, in their car. Honeys, what are we even you. talking about right That's now? That's a good point. A plie. He asked That's us a really if we knew point. what a plie was. That's not a trivia question. It's not really a trivia question, Brett. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here, so it is. I wrote it, so it is. Okay. Let, let's do a couple more. Okay. Let's see here. What is the name of the fourth book in the Harry Potter series? Oh, oh let's just say the Chamber of Secrets. I don't know. I don't know. Sorcery of Stone, or what's but, it called? But Beth, what is it? Goblet of Fire. Goblet oh. of Fire. Fuck. Beth made me, so I'm not a, like, I like Harry Potter, but I'm not, like, obsessed. You know what? I don't like any of those freaking well, Harry Potter, Marvel, I'm, no, not for me. Beth is obsessed, so she made me, uh, we went to Harry Potter World a while back in Florida, and she made me remember all of the schools. Is it schools that they do? Or, like. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, no. I'm going to name them. Okay. If I can remember. <laughs> Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. And Slytherin. That's the only one I know. I got them. I got them. That's all of them? Mm-hmm. Good job. Thanks, honeys. Gosh. All right. I don't. Did you watch Harry Potter? Oh, uh-huh. I like the movies. I'm just. Your uh, Harry Potter? I ain't going to read Your a book. Your Harry Potter? What about uh, Twilight? I could never get into Twilight. The books were amazing, and really? then the movies were just like, blah. Well, it's because of that actress. Uh, Bella. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the books were way better, I thought, too. So. Did you read the books? I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I remember Bella watching it. She was just like. Yeah. Oh, my God. I watched the first one. I was like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good on that. Should we do one more trivia? This is fine. I kind of want to just do this for the rest of the <laughs> Well, let's ask people. Let us know on our recent Instagram post. Do you do you want a whole trivia episode? <laughs> just an hour of getting asked questions. Do an IQ test real quick. Might be yeah. fun. Yeah, could be. All right, one more question. 
Which fashion brand made the genius jeans that became part of the Guinness World Records? Guess. Close. Uh, no, it was that was me get, saying oh. guess. <laughs> right. Wrangler? Uh, Levi Strauss. Oh, that's a good one. Starts with a G. Uh, Gianni Versace? Guess. Gucci. Oh, Gucci. It's Gucci? Yeah. Hmm. Didn't know Gucci made jeans. Me either. I thought they just made belts. Freaking every single person has that belt. You like Gucci, I like huh? Gucci shoes. I don't have anything Gucci. Oh. <laughs> I don't like, I don't hate it, but I don't like. Love it. I'm not, you know, I've never bought anything. Yeah. It would take a lot for me to spend that much on something. That Gucci money. You know, I'm not making, re- I'm not really making that Gucci money yet. <laughs> Louis you're, Vuitton money. You're making that Louis Vuitton money. <laughs> I'm making that Louis Vuitton money. <laughs> <laughs> when we buy Gucci, I, that's when you'll know we're making the Gucci money. Can I just say, I bought a Louis Vuitton, and everybody makes fun of me for it. Why? I love it. You earned it. Like, I know. You work hard. But we're just like, you know, like, we're not from, you know, we grew up really poor and stuff. Even Maggie and Beth are like, you've got a Louis Vuitton. Like, it's just not me. You know, I'm not like a, I'm not a material person. I'm not a brand person, but I saw this bag and I was like, oh, I really want that bag. So I splurged. Even though it's not you, I mean, yeah, nobody really has Louis Vuittons growing up. You yeah, grow, that's you true. Know? That's true. Like you grow up and you work and you make your own money and you buy whatever the fuck you want. That's true, honeys. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should we get into questions? Yeah. Let, no more trivia. One more trivia? One more. Okay. If they have one. What is the tallest building in the world? I know what it is, but I don't know what it's called. Let's just say the Empire State Building. Honeys. Maybe in (laughs) 1920. I don't know. It's something not in America. I know that. It's, it's It's in Asia somewhere. Maybe like China or somewhere like that. I know what it is. I don't know what it's called. What is it? Uh, the Burj Khalifa. Where's it at? Dubai. Dubai. Oh, yeah. That's I didn't it. know it was in Dubai. My friend yep. freaking posted it. Yep. Damn it. Missed opportunity there, bro. Sorry. <clears throat> Gosh, I did really bad today. Every day. It's okay. There's always next week, honeys. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, Should all right. Should we get into the, to the questions? I'm ready. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, honeys. It's, it's Caitlin again from Omaha, Nebraska. Mm-hmm. You know... First time caller, long time listener. You know, I just called about the gratuity thing that they add on to your bill, and it really got my wheels turning. And I'm like, but, you know, you want to give credit where credit is due. You want to give more, obviously. But what if the service for your restaurant bill doesn't – you don't think they deserve 18% gratuity right off the bat? You know what I mean? Like what – what if, you know, they messed up your, you know, you said you wanted extra cheese, like, and they're like, they didn't give you extra cheese, or, you know, there's a there's a million, myriad of things that could happen or go wrong with an order, and, you know, I'm sure we've all been subject to it in the past, but just want to get your thoughts, you know, what happens when they, maybe we shouldn't tip 18%, and I'm probably just going to get just obliterated by all my friends who work in yeah. service and food and beverage. But it's a question that's been burning okay. on me for a little bit. And Oh, okay. <laughs> here's, here's my thing, honeys. Um, the thing about the whole like automated, automatically gratuitous, you know, how, the, how some restaurants like all. If there's more than eight yeah, people. That's um, very rare. That I've you I rarely go to a restaurant that does the autumn you know so that's a yeah. good thing you don't have to worry about too often. For me personally, there's only been one time in my whole life, and I eat out a lot. <laughs> okay, let's just throw that out there. There's been one time my whole life where I thought I'm not tipping this. I'm not tipping this person because honestly, if even if I have not so good service, mm-hmm. I still tip twenty percent. Now, if the service is the best, if it's like, holy crap, I'll, this is the best experience I've taken care of, I'll tip like, you know, I, I'm a good tipper. Yeah. And I've always been that way. So ever since I was broke, dude, I'm always a good tipper. If it's a be- if it's if it's not good service, I still tip 20%. Yeah, I don't really care about 
the food being messed up on because I'm a pretty picky eater, so anything special, whatever. But how they treat you. Yeah. Like, if they're fucking mean. Oh, yeah. Then I'm like, why are you here? But how often does that happen to you? Mm, I don't Her, know. Rare, like, that's rare, huh? Yeah, it's pretty rare. It's very rare. It, that's the thing. So it's like. If you're, you know, how often do, how often does it happen that you just don't want to tip someone? And if the service is that bad, I would talk to the manager and be like, dude, like, I'm not tipping 20%. Like, look, like, they did this, they, you know, whatever. I would just talk to the, talk to the manager if it's, and if it's not bad enough for you to talk to the manager, then it's not bad enough for you to not tip. Sometimes it's the person eating is the problem too, you know? Uh, so yeah. many people are rude to waitresses and that, oh, ne- yeah. that Ex- needs to stop. Especially if you've never worked in the food industry. Yeah, you they don't understand like No, they have no idea. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of like I'm such a good tipper and I'm such a like believer in I don't want to say karma, but you know, but like just doing good and then right. receiving good. Like if I have a good month, you know, if I make good money that month, I'm going to go Splurge. tip someone very, you know, very well. Mm-hmm. I've always yeah, been that you're way. You're very generous on the tipping. Thank you, honeys. Yeah. I was that way when I worked at Sonic. Mm-hmm. You know, when I worked at Sonic, oh, I tip, I just, I don't know. If you I, have the extra money. Yeah. I mean, I tipped pretty well the other day. You'd be proud. How much Because Brett tip, gets honey? mad at me. Yeah. So no, I was I a big tipper what? until I met Brett and he's like, what? Well, Brett's a, Brett's a, uh, what's it called? Stingy, not stingy. Cheap ass. Mm, <laughs> how, well, but how, he's broke. not. Where were y'all? No. He's not really. What do you mean? Where were y'all eating? Uh, in my little town in Duchesne. And There's how much like was one the bill? restaurant. A hundred bucks. How much you tip? A hundred bucks. I would have done that. Yeah. Because I'm you, like, she I knows me. I saw you do it at Sonic. And you freaked out? No, no, I thought that was cool. You gave the guy at Sonic $100. No, you freaked out about her tipping 100 She's just saying that. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, like, he, the thing that annoys Brett is every time we go to Dutch Bros, they're like, would you like to leave a tip? And it's, like, already $4 for the coffee. And then I leave, what, two bucks? And he's like, oh, no, leave a dollar. Like, two okay. bucks is too much. I don't All know, right, Brett, go like work that. at Dutch Bros. Yeah, and I'm like, should. they're sitting out there in Bro the freaking study. heat. Right, that's how I look at it. They're taking our order. We can afford two dollars. Right, agree. Brett, chill, bro. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> we're good tip. Let's just say, just tip, just tip well. That's all we're gonna say. Tip extra if you can. I'm a twenty percent guy. Okay, Brett, ready for the next question? Especially, honey. wait, especially during the pandemic, a lot of people didn't have jobs, so you know, try to make yep. up for that and take care of your people. Agree. Hundred percent. Did we even answer her question? I think we did, in our <laughs> own way. <laughs> I think we did. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Support for the viral podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in below the waist grooming and hygiene. Listen up, Manscaped just launched their lawnmower 4.0. Yes, the 4.0. The optimized lawnmower 4.0 is wireless and waterproof, so you can shave your balls in the shower with no cleanup. Men, if you have been using the same trimmer on your face and balls, not good. Also, nothing is worse than having a pube lodged in the back of your throat during adult playtime. This is a great gift for your hairy partner that he'll actually use. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com and use code VIRAL. That's right, 20% off at manscaped.com and use code VIRAL. Experience premium grooming with Manscaped. Hi, Tammy or Chelsea or Jamie. Hmm? Who's that? Sorry, I have to be quiet right now. Uh, This dude is in my bathroom. I just fucked a bodybuilder that I matched with on Tinder, and I'm a fat girl. Hell yeah. I was really insecure about this, but your sex and body body positivity made me go for it, and it was amazing. And I just want to thank you because I don't really know that I would have 
had the confidence to go for this if it wasn't for you. And I love you all. Honeys, we love yeah. you. Love you, honeys. That makes me so happy. Wait, so he's still in your bathroom and yeah. you just fucked him and you called our podcast? I love you for that. <laughs> just want to say. I love She's that. First thing I need to call the podcast. That's fucking amazing. So he's a bodybuilder, so I'm assuming his body's just like ripped and shredded and all that. Mm-hmm. And you're a big bitch. And that makes me happy. Here's the thing. He knew you were big when he swiped on you. Mm-hmm. So Swap the nose on the credit card. Amen. So it's like what, you know, like he knows you're big. It's not like you posted a picture of yourself 10 years, 10 years and 60 pounds ago and he's showing up and, you know, mm-hmm. so he, he knows like he likes what he saw and I'm sure mm-hmm. he enjoyed the sex. And you know. obviously he went along with it. Exactly. That, that just shows that there's somebody for everybody. Dude, you it doesn't have fucking matter. You Larger women are so insecure because, you know, and I thank God times are changing, but, you know, we were told like, oh, you have to be skinny for a guy to be sexually attracted to you. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I've never had any problems pulling anything. No. Pulling tins. Men don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, <laughs> dude. And you, we, you gotta understand that, okay? And... The whole, like, confidence is sexy thing is, could not be the most, it's so true. Mm -hmm. Like, I've talked to multiple men who are like, you know, I'd much rather have a confident, you know, bigger woman who's confident in bed and she's, you know, rather than a just, you know, a complete woman who has a, the body of a model, but she's insecure and she doesn't want to do this, she wants to do it with the light. You know, like, you want to have fun with somebody and you don't want, so... Girl, that makes me so happy. Fuck those bodybuilders. I mean, fuck them. I, mean, I don't mean fuck them. I mean, fuck them, you know? Yeah. Have sexual intercourse with right. him. That's what I meant. That's good, awesome. Good for you, honey. Way to put yourself out there and gain the confidence and love yourself. Exactly. And fuck the bodybuilders. Fuck those bodybuilders. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Good for you. Good for you. And keep getting that dick. Okay, so my mom, um, I just found out that my mom had sex with my stepbrother whenever he was younger, and then as they got older, um, turns out he got her pregnant, and this whole time I thought that my brother was just my brother. Turns out he's my nephew brother. Um, this is this is real shit, no cap. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to take this, how I'm supposed to talk to my mom after this, how I'm supposed to uh, react. Like, what do you do after having a brother for 12 years and then finding out that he's also your nephew. It's a little bit odd. If I could just uh, get some advice on how I'm supposed to react or how I'm supposed to confront my mother, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> wow. First off, I'm putting nephew brother on a t-shirt. Nephew brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's here's the thing, man. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, and how did he find out? I want to know. I know. Does your mom know you know? Well, he said, how am I supposed to confront my mom? Right. That's what I'm saying. So did the brother, oh, did his man. step, so his stepbrother is now his dad. <laughs> I, I <know>. <laughs> <laughs> it's his brother's dad. Whoa. And kind of is. Yeah. Because if my mom's fucking somebody, mm-hmm. it's usually, you know, my mom's fucking somebody else. It's my stepdad. So now he has a brother, stepdad, and a uh, brother and nephew. <sighs> My brain's hurting. I don't know what you just <laughs> this said. This is a lot of brothers. Here, here's the thing. The the relationship between you and your brother is not going to change. You were like, you know, how am I supposed to, you know, n- what am I supposed to do now that I know that my brother's my, also my nephew? Nothing. He's still your brother, you know. And your nephew. And your nephew. I shouldn't be laughing, but this is such like, this shit is so my family. Y'all have no idea. Like, oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just shit like that. Like, my, I don't know, my cousin was, um, my older cousin was adopted by my grandma from her daughter. So, she was her mom and her grandma. So, I'm used to this shit. That takes me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still So, like, this is, nor- you know what I mean? Like, now, the fact that she fucked her stepson, that's a whole, yeah, we don't get into that. Like, where's your uh, stepdad? Yeah, what's going on here, bro? Did this, hmm. Here's the thing. There's nothing you can do about anything. It's already done. 
Maybe he just wants to get down to the, like, how did they yeah. start? How did you start fucking If you want to know answers, stepbrother? if you want to know answers, I would definitely just be straight up with your mom. Be like, dude, like, what's, <laughs> what happened? What's going on? Like, so-and-so told me, whatever, you know? Like, I don't think there should ever, especially when there's big, like, secrets like this or whatever between families, I'm always very, you know, open and like, hey, what's going on? Don't let, don't let this build up and you not say anything to anybody. Yeah, holding it in will not be good. No. But, I gosh, I have so many questions. I know I do, too. I almost want to hop on the phone with this dude. <laughs> God. Because it's the stepbrother. Fucking the mom. That's all. How old was the stepbrother? Oh, God, I don't know, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. Could you do us a favor, sugar? When you confront whoever you get the answers you want, call us back. We want to know, like, what happened, like... Not necessarily what happened in terms of, like, your mom and your stepbrother, but we want to know what happened in terms of how confronting her went. I kind of want to know all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep that guy's phone number. We may, you may call him Let's back. Let's call him. Yeah. 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 Wow, that was juicy. Uh, hey, hey, Chelsea. Uh, this is Dave. Uh, I just wanted to know if you've ever survived a, a tornado. All right, thanks. Oh, and hot page. Hello. A tornado? Dave, Dave, honeys, he asked if I've ever survived a tornado. Honeys, <laughs> if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm here today. Hey, honeys, I'm here. Hey, honeys, survived tornadoes here. <laughs> well, I'm from Oklahoma, so uh, I've been in... I've been in a lot of cellars. I've been... I really have. I've been in a lot of tornadoes, a lot of cellars. I've always loved tornadoes and that's a weird thing to love because sometimes they're small and nobody gets hurt so and then sometimes they like they're big kill people you know so it's weird for me to say I love them it's a weird thing but I've always had like a fascination with tornadoes um you're my little Texas tornado my little Texas tornado tornado blowing me away again um I will say my number one bucket list, and this has been on my bucket list since I was probably 15. I want to storm chase and get out of the car with a huge twister behind me Whoa. and take a picture. You might not survive, honeys. Is it worth it? Let me It'll work, work it. it. Put my thing down. Flip it. <laughs> it's the tornadoes and the dead thing, yeah. But that's, I've always wanted to do that. And I have had, so I've mentioned this on social media before. And I've, I have uh, fans in Oklahoma and Texas who have reached out and been like, Chelsea, that's what we do for a living. We storm chase. You're welcome to come with us. What do they storm chase in? Is it just like a Honda Civic? Like, do they have some. They're usually in a truck. A yeah. Ford. But you got to understand, these people are so like professional. It's just, it's not like some redneck that's out there going, oh, let's go chase this tornado. <laughs> you know, like these people know. Of course. They know the, the wind, the weather. They know how far, like, they're very professional. But Mother Nature just scares the frick out of me. It excites me, man. I'm going to do it one day. What about uh, earthquakes? Mm, they don't do nothing for me. Not scary? Um, they're, I don't know. Most of them are real little. I mean, a big one would be terrifying. Mm-hmm. You know, but I don't, I don't know. I'm anyway. afraid of sinkholes. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, those are scary. Mm-hmm. Those are really scary. And those happen, right, because of or- earthquakes and, well, I guess, they, water, they too. They do, but they're rare. Aren't they? Well, I had a friend die in a sinkhole. Where? In Utah. When, oh. we, were in, when we were in high school. Holy there was a sinkhole. and Were they driving? Mm-hmm. Oh. Her and her dad were driving and ran into the sinkhole. Holy crap. I didn't know that was like mm-hmm. an, oh. Yeah. Do y'all get tornadoes? Twin sister. There was one tornado, and my sister's friends were, like, looking at it in our small town, and they got, they were looking at the tornado and got side, like, hit and died. <laughs> Let's move. <laughs> All these fucking, holy. every single thing you, <laughs> holy shit. Isn't yeah, that move weird? On. Yeah, honeys. Uh... I'll go tornado chasing with you, though. I'm dead serious. Let's do it. Okay. Bucket <sighs> list. We should probably have Paige watch that movie Twister, you know? That's a good movie. That don't scare you from nothing. Have you never seen Twister? Mm-mm, it just filmed, played it. It was filmed in Oklahoma. 
just played it. Okay. We'll, we'll watch Twister. Twister, honeys. Okay. Yes. And Truffle. Hey, honeys. Throbbing Pussy Lips here. So, what happens when you guys get um, ingrown hairs, like, on your pussy lips or, like, on in your pubic area? Because recently, I've gotten them in my, on my taint. Is this something that I need to be worried about? Mm. So, I guess that's it. So. So, I'm just going to hang up. I have never in my whole life had an ingrown hair anywhere on my body. Me either. So, best of luck. I hear they hurt. Isn't that weird? Like, Maggie and Beth and Greg get them all. I'm like, I've never, I don't know. What do they do? I don't know. They don't complain or like, oh, they hurt. Yeah, they're like, oh, I got an ingrown hair. Maggie oh, Maggie had a, wants you to pull them. Maggie had an ingrown hair on her pussy and wanted me to pull it. And I said, no, ma'am. Sorry. I would have pulled it. So, I love that stuff. So we had to call Beth and Beth came over and pulled it for her. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, can you come pull this? I gotta, here's the thing. Okay. I'm going to tell this story. And it's not about an ingrown hair, but it's about a boil on a pussy. Huh? What type of boil? Like a crawfish boil? What? <laughs> no, honey. It's like a boil you pop. Like a big... A pimple? Yeah, but it's a boil, so it's real big, right? Okay. Oh, gosh. So, Greg and... Not... I didn't have it on mine. <laughs> Greg, Greg and I... I gotta tell you about this girl, and I don't even know if I should say her name. Yeah. <laughs> but her name's... Her name is makes the story funny. <laughs> should I say her name? I don't want people bothering her. I don't want them looking her up or anything. Just say her first name, or do you have to say the Both full name? <sighs> okay, so Greg and I worked together at Sonic in Durant, Oklahoma, okay? We were in college, and we worked with this girl named Urena Cherry. Urena Cherry, okay? And I went to college with her, but I also worked with her. And she was late for work one day, and we're like, where's Urena, where's Urena? And y'all, please don't bother this sweet girl. And we're like, where's Urena, where's Urena? And she's like, late for work, can't nobody get a hold of her. So she finally pulls up, man. She comes into work, and first things first, nobody even said anything. She goes, sorry, I was at the I was at the doctor's getting a boil popped on my pussy lip. And we're all like, and we didn't know each other that way. Yeah. You know, like if you said that to me or something, I'd We'd be like, laugh. Yeah. And we had like, she was getting a boil popped on her pussy lip at the doctor she, she just announced it to everyone she didn't even say like hey guys sorry i was at the doctor so no. i was late so then she didn't even call in no that's the thing so then i had a uh, science class with her oh god i tell i have I ever told you the story before Mm-mm. dude okay so there's maybe like 100 people in this class okay class starts she's not there all right class about 10 minutes into class and the door opens <laughs> she walks in and you know like if the professor's up there talking or whatever if someone opens the door everybody's gonna kind of look yeah i hate that feeling uh, it's the worst feeling dude. oh fuck i just wouldn't show up right oh yeah for sure so we're sitting there the door opens everybody kind of looks up and it's her and she stands in the doorway and she goes what's everybody looking at huh and we all kind of like, you know, we're kind of scared. We kind of put our head down. Yeah. She starts, wa- her, her chair is in the back. She starts walking and everyone that's, that's uh, like, I guess looking at her, mm-hmm. she's going down the aisle and she goes, boo. <laughs> and then she goes, she looks over it, boo. And so everybody's literally like, don't look at her. Like, don't look at her. You know, Urena <laughs> Cherry, she was a bad bitch. No. Boo. <laughs> Dude, we'll see. So now, oh, I just got lightheaded. Dude, what a gal. So now, like, Greg and, like, a few of my friends that, that know, we'll literally be like, boo, boo. boo. I'm going to start doing that. Uh, was that a made-up name? Stage name? Yeah, that was a stage name. Hmm? <laughs> All that was a real name. Nobody look her up, please. She You're, was cool. How did you spell it? I- <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, never had an ingrown hair, honeys. Just exfoliate. Just exfoliate. Mm-hmm. Hi, Chelsea and Paige. Um, so recently, I started dating my bisexual best friend, and we might have a threesome with a guy who he's been hooking up with for a while. And I guess I'm just kind of 
hmm, confused as to if I should go along with it or not. Because I've never been in a situation with two other guys doing gay stuff to each other. And I guess I just don't know if I'm down with that or not. I think I am, but I'm not sure. Would you guys do it? Let's answer on the count three. One, One two, two, three. three. Yes. No. You wouldn't? Well, I don't know if I can handle the double penetration. and Like, would that be happening or? You'd have to talk about that before. Yeah, I guess the circumstances I would have to check up on before I hopped into it. Right. You definitely, I think y'all should definitely talk before about what's going to go on. Um, to me, two ball sacks is just a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. You know, Slapping. more than one is a little too much. But would I try it once? Yeah. I think if you, I think if you talk about it, about what what you expect, what you don't want, whatever, and then y'all just have fun. At least try it. Oh yeah, I would. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, I'm horny right now for two men. I want you to try it. I would love to. Honey's, let me know how it goes. Scotty and Brett. <laughs> hey, Scotty and Brett, are you willing? But to- y'all aren't gay. I, I don't. I don't want to try. But I would do with. I, I would with straight or gay. It doesn't matter. But well, I think that's the. Game changer, straight or gay, because obviously the two straight guys are gonna don't want, want anything to do with each right. other, but they're all about you. The two gay guys, I don't know. Right. Well, one's bisexual, but maybe they both are. I don't know. I would try it, dude. I it just may- couldn't handle the anal, the put. I don't know. No. Does that happen? You, you don't have to. Yeah. You could say like, hey, I don't want to do double pin. Hey, could you not touch my asshole? No, I, I guarantee you, if you don't want to do double pin, you don't have to, you know, mm-hmm. that's, yeah. Everything's your own choice. Right. That's, you know, a, a threesome is a, is a, like, you can nitpick whatever you want. It, mm-hmm. It's a whole grab bag full of fun. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I, lots of juices and semen. Like, okay, I'm going to get, oh. Oh, I'm going to get sick. Does, I can't do, well, I that's question. why I can't watch porn. Does everyone nut at the same time? No, honeys. And threesomes? That's impossible. Me and Brett nut at the same time. We play, that's fucking, play like, y'all oh. are lying. You mm-hmm. nut at the same time? Yeah. Like that, my, like my pussy will kind of like go kind of like a, no. Do that? Mm-hmm. You have a full orgasm while he's nutting inside of you. Yeah, we like nut at the same time. I'm like, "Can you all plan that?" Well, we're fucking and I'm like, "Okay, I'm going to nut." And then he's You like, hold off until she's Yeah, it's just the gentleman in me. You know, I just want That's like That does not happen. That does not happen. Know, yeah, I we're pretty lucky. That. We kind of just lay on each other, and then the next thing you know, we're busting nuts. Yeah, our genitals just align. That's why he's still here, honey. <laughs> I know that. Otherwise, he wouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Brett's, um... <laughs> we love Brett. Love you. Love you, honeys. That, I've never heard of that. No, I've never nutted while anybody else ever nutted. Or even been cl- any, anywhere close. What? That's the goal, to come at the same time. Scotty, why are you? Scotty's doing this. Scotty's what are you, like, what yeah, are you talk, man. What, what's going on, Scotty? That's the goal, is it not? Well, at what the same the time. Hell? At the same time? Yeah. Scotty. No. Do you. We need to talk to Greg. No. We're not getting him down here. <laughs> oh, wow. That'd be terrible. So, Scotty, that's your thinking. When you're banging, you're like, we got to come at the same time. No, it's accidentally happened a couple of times when she's quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. so he's got to hurry. Oh, because he comes quick. I'm blown away, dude. So that doesn't happen to Scotty, but Brett can hold it. If he's not going like, oh, 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 he has to slow it down or else well, he'll nut. Also, you nut with just penetration, which is kind of rare. Mm-hmm. That's very rare. You know, only like 2% of women do that. Oh. I've only done it like twice in my whole life where I've nutted just strictly dick. At the same time as the... No, that's never happened. That... Is that real? 2%? Yep. Wow. She's like, I looked it up. Yep, looked it up. It's something crazy like that. It's like very rare. So we have May- something it, good going. Maybe 10% or something, but. I wish you could experience more. <sighs> Honeys. Should I hop on Chelsea? <laughs> hop on top. Dude, yeah. that's, no, let us know. Have y'all, no, I've never heard of that. Call in if you nut the same time as your significant other. Not just if it's happened once in your life. If that's a thing. Every day. If he nuts before I nut, I'm mad. Not happy. I'm blown away. Mm-hmm. My vagina will literally like 
have a pulse. Oh, yeah, like, that's normal. Yeah. Kind of like go in and out like a jellyfish. Yeah. And he can fill it with his wee-wee. And I'm not doing some Kegel It's just thing. natural? Mm-hmm. Unstoppable. Oh. Uncrustable. Uncrustables. Those are good. <laughs> Ooh, I hate You don't like them? No. When I'm stoned as fuck, an a Uncrustable is daddy. Daddy. Jelly. I. You don't like mm-mm. jelly? Mm-mm. I didn't know that. I hate it. Mm, Taste or texture? Both. Whoa. Hate it. She doesn't like sweets. Yeah, I, I knew do. that. She likes some, some I like things. Smarties, but jelly, never liked it. I don't like big amounts of peanut butter either. I don't either. You're right about that. Yeah. Oh, wow, dude. Whoa. What? Do you like feeling good? Good. Because Adam and Eve want you to feel good on the inside and out. Give your genitals what they want and deserve. It could be an adventurous new toy or just something that you know gets the job done. Some nights Chelsea will ditch me for her clitoral sucker, but I'm not even mad because she deserves to be satisfied. If you want to satisfy your needs and get 50% off almost any one item, go check out adamandeve.com and use code viral at checkout. That's right, adamandeve.com Use code V-I-R-A-L at checkout. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, bitches. I'm wondering what your weirdest job was. My weirdest job, I delivered balloons in a gorilla suit. (laughs) Full-length gorilla suit. It was so fucking funny. I hope to hear from you. Bye, bitches. Love the sass. Love it. Dude, that would be, no, think about that. Hot. Well, and hard because you know how hard it is juggling around a whole bunch of balloons? You know when you go oh, get balloons for someone? Fuck it's, that. And you're doing it in a full-length gorilla costume? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> Trying to shut the door? They ain't paying me enough. Mm-mm. I've never done anything like that. Um, That's something I can't do. For what? sure. Deliver balloons <laughs> in a gorilla suit. I, mean, I put a gorilla suit on, five minutes in, no, oh yeah. five seconds in, I'm sweating. I wonder if they had to drive in that thing. In the gorilla <laughs> suit? Maybe they got the balloons, because why are we thinking they picked it up in the gorilla I know, suit? I don't know. I, um, I actually was our school mascot, but that wasn't a job. Were you sweating? Oh, God, it was horrible. It was horrible, and the, ma- the mascot suit was like 20 years old. Stinky? Sweet, yeah. I've never had a job like that. I mean, I worked at Sonic where I had to dress up as the um, the a cherry limeade outfit. Honestly, I would say the the weirdest job that I've ever had is the job I do now. Mm-hmm. I would Social say now. media, comedian, internet, like, you know. Trying to be entertaining and keep yeah. people happy. And it's and just it's, such a different job because you have to plan your own schedule. And That's what I was about to say. Like, when you're working, when I was working regular jobs, you'd wake up. Go to work. Hate you it. got off. When you were off work, you were off. Mm-hmm. And you got your checks. And you got to chill. Yeah. With this job, you're never, like, really off. It's it's hard to explain. You're your mind n- never stops. Right. I started meditating, me and Brett, because... I want to do that! Yeah. my I've had, like, severe brain fog. I feel like the past <sighs> couple weeks, if somebody asks me a question, I'm like... Too many fucking questions. Because we've had Zoom meetings mm-hmm. constantly and just, I don't know. I feel I want very to start overwhelmed. Meditating. Yeah. And you just, it helped me. I've heard, yes. My friend Clayton, our friend Clayton, mm-hmm. he swears by it. Now I've been talking to him and I'm like, I'm going to start. Yeah. That's why I started Clayton. I wrote him. And yeah. I'm like, Dude. But it probably this job and just the fact that, you know, I do, like, I, it blows my mind that. You know, I get to create a funny video, and I get paid for that. Mm-hmm. And millions of people look up to you. That's in like that's insane to me. I, that is just you know crazy awesome, but it's just weird because I'm just you know I never expected mm-hmm. this. So every day I'm like I'm so grateful mm-hmm. that we can dude, do this, dude. For real, no joke. This is it's awesome. And now we got a podcast. Thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast. Oh, 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 we just love you, honeys. We do. Oh, my gosh. We love you and appreciate you. Yes, we do. Yes. 
This is your boy D again from West Virginia. I got a quick question for you. So am I the only guy that no matter how many times I have sex, I tell the woman, like say I was with a woman one day and then I'm with a different woman the next day. I always tell them it's been a while because I know it's just going to be quick as hell. <laughs> so just, just wondering. All right. Hey, thanks for calling in. Just um, wondering. Well, let's let the guys answer. So he's saying, okay, if he's like been with two women and back to back or in a week or whatever, he tells them both that it's been a while because he's going to nut quick and he doesn't want them to think that, you know. He's a... Yeah, I still use that now, but, you know, I still get everything handled. You know, if it's a quick sesh. You still use that with Paige, although she's, she's yeah. the only one fucking He'll you? He'll say, sorry, it's been a while. I'm like, oh, it's been 20 hours. <laughs> well, I'll tell hours. her, like, hey, you probably need to, like, hurry up, maybe. If- oh, my God. Scotty? I say uh, that's pretty common. Yeah, It's really? common, common courtesy. Yeah. But here's the thing. I don't think a woman would care. I wouldn't. I don't like long sex. No, and we, like we've talked about this in the podcast. I'm like Too long... It, it, too short, you're like, it's almost like f- kind of flattering. Like, okay, I'm hot as fuck. He busted. But if it's like you're not, it starts to hurt down there. You're like, okay, buddy. Okay, drying up. So I don't think, I don't think a woman would care. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's just y'all overthinking it. You think? Uh, Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. People think, oh, lasting long is like dick no, power. No, it's not. It's not dick power. Because. <laughs> no, it's not. I'd rather get out of the. So let's say I bone a dude. Let's say, you know, I'm single. I bone a dude. And he comes quick and he's like, sorry, it's been a while. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> and, you know, like I wouldn't care. It's, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while since I have came inside of you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just y'all overthinking it. Well, well, I don't, I wouldn't care. Some people love the long ooh, sex, no. like the four. Hour. Isn't it Beth? As long as there's like some some uh, what's it called when you before sex foreplay. <laughs> foreplay yeah I love foreplay as long as like if we make out mm-hmm. and you know you do a little fiddling and stuff yeah you know, some finger diddles yeah then the sex doesn't have to last fucking thirty minutes I'd rather more foreplay than sex agree like rub my clitoris Brett you taking down notes. Well, I actually like to give a massage. I'll get him a notepad. Doggy, so that way I kill two birds with one stone. That I hate that. Hold on. Let me enjoy the massage. Hold on. Hmm. You're giving her a massage while you're hitting it from the back because you want to kill two birds, one stone. What are you massaging her lower back? Yeah. That pissed me off. It ain't it. Brett, she's telling you to never do it again. I've told her. I them. can't help it. I just, when I see it, I just want to <laughs> massage it and do it. There's Ooh. nothing worse than getting a massage. That, then they start like, ooh, start getting all horny. It's like, okay. Good one, Brett. Huh. Do better. Do better, Brett. <laughs> I'm trying to two, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> it's like, okay, but he is not a multitasker. <laughs> he can barely do one task at a time. Brett. Oh, my God. That's funny, dude. Oh, I'd be so mad. God bless him. Don't do that again. Don't ever do that again. All right. Should we do okay. one more? Or? So, yeah. First of all, I'm shitting, so I'm in the bathroom. So if there's an echo, that's where it's from. Okay. Shit story on top of this. So one time, my girlfriend and I, we, like, overdrank. And so we were hungover, right? So we're walking through the Luxor parking lot in Las Vegas, and she's vomiting. And I'm watching her vomit, and it made me vomit. And as I'm vomiting, I'm, like, shitting my pants, you know? Like, not, not like, a shark or just, like, a little squirt. Like, I'm throwing up, and the muscles in my stomach are, like, Pushing out a violent shit. It was the worst. Anyway, so I couldn't drive home with just like a pile of shit in my fucking pants. So I take off my pants and I throw them underneath this minivan that had a diaper underneath it anyway. Mm. So it was a perfect spot. And I like take my coat and I wrap it around my waist, tie it on the sides like a diaper, and drive my ass home. I've never told anybody this story before. The only people that know are the ones that were there. Mm. I needed to get it out. Mm. I hope you enjoyed it. Mm. I hope it makes you feel better about any shit stories you have because it's just the fucking worst. Okay. Love you, honeys. Bye. Love you, honeys. Get that shit out. This is a safe space. 
mm-hmm. that if you've been wanting to get some shit out, you can't call us. Call okay. Us. Thank you for getting that off your chest. Um, wow. I full on shit my pants and had to drive home with it while puking. Mm. But I had, I I think I already told you were sick. the story a bunch. Yeah. Rubio's got me. Oh, I love Rubio's. Yeah. I've only shit myself twice. And it, both times I was in Vegas, both times I was laying in a bed. So I never like shit my pants. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I wasn't drunk or anything. I think I <laughs> literally, like, it's just the buffets there, the crab legs and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think I was laying in bed. This was, like, two years apart. And, like, farted and, like, just shit. And Greg got so mad at me both times. F- happened once, and then we went back a couple years later, and it happened again. He's like, why do you always shit the bed in Vegas? I'm like, it's Vegas, boo. Does it it's get Vegas. on the bed? Oh, all of the sheets and stuff. We had to strip the sh- You said it wasn't bad. Well, it wasn't, like, wow. in my pants, but, you know. And it wasn't, like... I don't want to get into it. It wasn't like salt, like net. It was like Hershey squirty. Squirts. It was like mustard. Kind of like a baby. Yes. Baby shit. But I've never like shit my pants or said in it. But this, dude, this is common. People shit their pants. Oh, Greg yeah. shits his pants all the time. Mm-hmm. I posted a YouTube video talking about my story, <laughs> shitting my pants, and the full story. And people wrote, I oh, shit my, like, there's so many stories about people shitting. Well, and buttholes can only be so tight. Mm-hmm. And you can only control them so much. Exactly. And we're human. Yeah. And we're going to shit our pants. Mm-hmm. And you know? we're going to puke, and we're going to bleed out our cooters. And That's why we have all these orifices. Mm-hmm. I have clots the size of, like, those strawberries. Oh, honeys, I know you do. Like the strawberry jam with the clots in there? Yeah, and the do- donut. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. All right. I think that was the last question. Okay. Correct? Oh, my God. Great podcast, honey. It flew by. It did. Should we give them the number? Yes. To call back? Hey, guys. Call, listen, call us. Get something off your chest. Ask, ask us a question. If you have a crazy story or if, or if you just want to say hi, dude, like, give us a call, okay? Mm-hmm. And try to leave as much detail as possible on your story so we know... Yeah, what's More going of what's on. going on. Yes. All right, yeah. you ready for the number? Yes. 442-777-3331. Oh. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what, what everybody, everybody else thinks. thinks.